Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, December 20th, 2020, week number 107. Yep, we are one day late. Sorry. Stacey had to get up and go in early. Super early. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas. <laughs> That's right. It is. Well, hey, let's get into some numbers. Um, last week I was 329. This week I'm 333.4. I'm up 4.4. Uh, I have also had a little bit of troubles uh, in the washroom area. I was actually at the doctor, I think it was Thursday. Thursday um, or Wednesday? Yeah, Thursday. And I still haven't gone since I went to the doctor. So um, I'm thinking all this is kind of temporary and kind of weirdness, but uh, we're working on it. I've tried a million supplements. I've tried even medicines from the doctor. Uh, I've had two gastro appointments that got canceled on me due to this whole world stuff going on. <laughs> So I'm still trying to figure myself out. Still sticking with keto, still using my carb manager. In fact, I even did a day of fasting this week. So why am I up 4.4? I couldn't tell you other than I need to go in and use the washroom. But <laughs> I'm just being honest, this is, this is the way it is this week. So share with you where I'm at. That's where I'm at. But you're with me and I love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be a good week. We're gonna have yes. a good week. Our not so little is coming home on Tuesday from college, so she'll be with us for a couple of days. So I'm excited. Yeah, that'll be fun too. Julia's on her vacation until January fourth. Till my birthday. Till your birthday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll be the big five three. I know. Fifty three. Fifty three. I'm gonna be fifty next year. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. So last week I weighed in at one thirty seven point four. I am. Uh, I went to bed with a super horrible migraine last night. Um, a couple rel packs. And two rel tylenol. packs and some Tylenol later and a sleep mask and on until I got up this morning, which is very unusual. Usually I can get rid of the headache pretty quickly, but not tonight. So I'm, my fingers are like sausages. Feeling mm -hmm. a little rough this morning. Um, I weighed in at 137.8, so 0.4 up. Um, <laughs> you're doing okay at work and i'm not drinking enough the fluids the enough water fluids, yeah yeah so I have to try and sneak them in on breaks i will i do try and get as much as i can um uh, i don't know it was uh, a busy day yesterday i don't know why i don't know where the headache came it's been a while since i've had a migraine like that um that came on late too. That was over ten o'clock, past ten o'clock. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're like, I need to take a pill. Yeah, I felt like a little bit of a headache coming in. I got up to go brush my teeth, and um, wham, it hit me. Hmm. <laughs> it hit me. So, uh, yeah, those are not fun. But raw pack saves the day for the most part. I have just a slight headache this morning, but I can deal with that compared to a migraine. So life is good. It'll be a good week. Okay, so you're up 0.4. I'm up 4.4, which is crazy and temporary. It's temporary. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm not even stressing over it. It's, it is what it is. Yeah. Today, I get to fix our dryer. Yeah. Yeah. So I can do some laundry. <laughs> squeaking away. The idle arm is bad. But wait. <laughs> so as we were looking, you had to get the model number and the year and everything, right? Oh, yeah. And so I'm, I'm thinking, sure many of Many of these people can relate to this. <laughs> He's like, how old do you think the washer and dryer is? I'm like, I don't know. About six years old. He's like, double it. <laughs> it's 12. 12. Good Lord, where does time go? It just flies. Had no yeah, idea. Yeah. You look a part <laughs> number up and then you see the series of one, you know, the age of your machine and you're like, wow, really? It's 12 years old. No wonder it needs to be repaired. <laughs> right? Yeah, average repair is close to $300 on this and I can do it myself. So I'll tear the thing apart, change the idler arm, change the belt, and uh, get us back going. Yeah. Unless anything else in there that I see is broken too, but drum rollers or something, but I think just the idler arm and the belt should do it. Yeah, so I'm excited I can get my laundry done. Yeah. And we, Lord knows that Lauren will be bringing probably every piece oh. of clothing. Um, She's home. the one who wore the dryer out. <laughs> We do a lot of laundry around this house. Well, well, you know, of course, with this whole pandemic, um, whatever I'm wearing for the day goes right into the washer. So we certainly have been doing this year, 
Yeah. Probably triple the amount of laundry that we normally do. Stacy likes um, to do fluff loads too, where you just re-fluff it off before you fold it. Or, you can't. So put, the dryer is getting worn out, but you can't put old. wrinkly clothes in. You can't fold wrinkly well, clothes. When the dryer's done, you put them away. Well, I'm not always home. <laughs> Uh, you gotta anyway. tell me. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> typical Dishes. thirty year conversations, right? <laughs> oh well, it work. It'll it'll get working again. I have it. Hopefully you done got today. It. Hopefully today I have it all done. Well, been kind of in a <clears throat> kind of in a, a food rut lately. I've just I, all I eat is chicken and eggs and some vegetables, and I'm kind of feeling a little bit blah lately. I was reviewing some of our videos and our recipes. Trying to get some ideas, you know, maybe make some meatballs again. Yeah, I, I think know. you picked the pork loins out. I got a really. We have pork loins? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we have pork loins, so you maybe. You got it for that. me. Yeah. That was a while ago. Those yeah. are frozen. It's a big old honker of a That's pork loin. That's going to take a couple of days to thaw. Yeah. Today for Tuesday, kind of thing. Perfect. That's what I was thinking. All right. Do uh, Parmesan crusted pork chops? Yeah, let me know in the comments below um, if anybody's still watching. Even <laughs> um, what what are your go tos for dinners and stuff? I'm I'm eating the same thing all the time. I keep my stuff so basic, so my carb manager is super simple. I could yeah. go like that and tell you what my carb manager said. Yeah, even the fat heads, but I think it's just something different. I'm not an adventurous yeah. eater, so that's the problem. However, I'll make you I'll make you something different. I even went this week with a day of fasting in there, and I'm up 4.4. What the heck? Yeah, we know why that is. So. Well, I know, but my guy it's still my, frustrating. I get my stomach stuff figured out. I don't know. I saw a doctor, and he wants me to see another gastro, and then gastro wanted me to see a nutritionist, which I did, and they said I'm out of balance and out of whack, and I need to add all these carbs and oats and things in, which scared the heck out of me. So okay. I tried it for a few days, and it went crazy up. My sugar went up and my weight went up, and that didn't work for me. I've tried every single supplement you can think of, including MCT oils and magnesiums and psyllium husks and neuralaxes and all these things, and just my stomach is a mess. Um, it's been that way since my colonoscopy. I keep telling every doctor, and nobody's listening. So I got to figure this out. I saw me, right? Uh, 52 years of my life, I know how I go to the bathroom, and this is not normal. So they're blaming it on keto. They're blaming it on being out of balance nutritionally and needing more carbs and fibers. Yeah. I do my vegetables and stuff, but they want to see, like, fruits and grains in there. And whenever I do that, my sugar goes crazy. So lately, my sugar's been decent. It's been yeah. about 150s, 160s. Which yeah. for me, I'm like hardly any medicine. It's good. Yeah, I've even hit some 140s. Yeah. So being on no medicine is hardly, it's just really nice. No more metformin. That was tearing my stomach up. Yeah. So, I don't know. I was uh, catching up on some of the keto channels yesterday. I was just a little restless and needing some inspiration. I saw Greg and Stace over at KZ Keto. Man, they are doing amazing uh, Greg is down 209. He started at 371, I believe. Holy and cow. Stacey, Good job, Greg. And, and it's like 160 some pounds. And then Stacy, she's down under 200. She just, I think she weighed in at 198. So she's in her little wonderland. Yay. And uh, yeah, she's doing fantastic too. Um, so yeah, I'm That's a loser. Awesome. You're doing good. You're where you need to be. I still got to get where I got to get to be. I'll get there. You I'm got, working on it. We got some medical issues. We got to just yeah, figure and then, it out. And... and then I was checking out like Tammy's channel, Keto in the Chaos. Yeah. And uh, she's at 20,000 subscribers. She was just talking about doing like a little giveaway thing that she's doing for 20,000 subscribers. Wow. That's pretty amazing. I remember when, you know, I mean, this is two years back when yeah. we first started, but watching her channel, you know, it was somewhere around five, 6,000 or something. Then the big thing was hitting 10,000. Remember that? Right. Yeah. And then uh, now, just recently, I think it was just two days ago, a lot, last night, uh, I'm a little off. Uh, yeah, she was talking about her 20,000 subscriber um, giveaway thing that she's doing. So That's awesome. I was checking that out. Way to go. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up on some of the other channels and other things, just give myself some ideas and you know, watch a few recipes or something. Kind of just feeling like a little bit of a rut. I don't want to eat regular, regular, like pastas and stuff. Right. 
But obviously, whatever I'm doing, I'm feeling stalled or stuck. stuck. I don't know. Stuck for the moment. I don't know what the moment is. <laughs> By 2 o'clock, if I go to the bathroom, I'll be down 2, 3 pounds. <laughs> so I'm not stressing, but I just, I'd like to be able to get past where I'm at now. And every time I break 3.30, I think I'm done with 3.30. And then here I am this morning back at 3.33. Yeah. But I'm not going to, like, lie on here and say, oh, yeah, I'm only 320, whatever. No, it's 333.4. Is what it is. It is well, what you it is. You'll get it. a wonderful day at work. Hopefully people are in good moods, festive moods, holiday yeah. moods. We start piping through holiday music through the speakers, so we're hoping that'll make a difference because some people are so just not so nice. and <sighs> Everybody's got a lot of extra stress right now. Yeah. I, I know some people deal with it better than others. I take a deep breath and I try and smile, but the funny thing is you can't even see that because you have a mask on, so you can't right. even show the expression. Like I'm of, smiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Everything is good, and you know, trying to do our best, and yet you can't relay that really. Right, right. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been funny because sometimes when people are not so nice to me, um, and it's usually because I'm asking them to pull their mask up because our policy is you have to have your nose and your mouth covered, but we'll provide a shield and. This one gentleman was just really not very nice. And two different members, when he walked away, they were like, you handled that really well. I'm like, I try not to take it personally. I don't know what kind of stress he's dealing with for the day. Um, True. However, it's our policy. It's, you know, I don't love wearing a mask, but I do. All day, too. All day for eight hours, and it's okay. For and then 20 you get minutes, the I'm in Costco, I can wear a mask right. for everybody else's benefit, as well as my own. Yeah, yesterday I had a member, it was, it was super cute. Uh, I was up in the front helping and I uh, ended up going over to a line to help get uh, load her basket up. And she says, I was hoping you were going to come over here. I said, oh, I'm sorry, what can I do for you? And she goes, I just wanted to say I'm envious of the way your silvers <laughs> are growing in. Oh, um, <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. She goes, it, you, those are natural, right? I said, yeah. She goes, I've tried. She says, I just can't do it. I said, you know what? It is what it is, um, you know. Yeah. It, it nothing sticks to it anyway. So even if I wanted to color it, <laughs> nothing sticks to it. Lasts a couple of days and then it's off. So um, it my was just kind of fun. Father, just own it. I just I, that's what I told her. I said I just own it. It is what it is. And then of course you know that's that natural part that happens right there. So it was. I think it's pretty. It was kind of fun. It's me. It makes it me. Yeah. And who knows what. The next direction will be where it'll come up next or spread from there. We'll I'm convinced though, I have to say, if I think if I started going gray all over, I think I would want to just dye my hair platinum like that, like the, the, the silver, oh, and the, then just the let the it grow hair. in. Yeah. Because I, I have to say, I think it would drive me crazy to see that half and half and that growing coming down. I think I would just have to say, let me just go do it and be silver like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens we'll when see. that happens. I don't know that it'll happen. My grandmother had really dark hair until she passed, except yeah, we for the streaks. At, we we're looking at old pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty dark. So she was up there too when that one picture was taken with Jewel, with Lauren. Right? Yeah, she was in her eighties. Eighties. So yeah, yeah. You got a long way, I long do. way to go. <laughs> don't worry about it. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you have and. Um, let me know in the comments, like I said, some of the meals that you guys are doing. Um, I'm not tired of eggs. I'm not tired of chicken, but that's pretty much all I've been eating. I, I don't know what to do to switch things up. Maybe I'll throw my carb manager up for a week and show people where I'm at. And I can't quite figure out what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Doctors and nutritionists so all want me back on fruits and vegetables. Well, vegetables I eat anyway. But the fruits and the grains and the things and the seeds and the nuts yeah. and the... Things that are gonna. I know after about three days of doing that, when I saw the nutritionist, my yeah. sugar spiked up into the two hundreds, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's so not good. I've got to find the balance that makes everybody happy. Me, the doctor, the nutritionist, whatever, and ultimately just to be able to get this weight to move again because I feel stagnant. I feel very stuck. Yeah, I'm sorry. But thanks for watching. Oh, and we did get our tree up. Yeah, we actually, this year, we actually got it all going. Nothing fancy, but thanks, Julia's mom. It did. It did. She helped. Um, I put the tree up, I put the lights on, and then Julia did all the decorations. The bulbs and everything, yeah. 
So that was pretty cool. It's good. Hey, I get more sleep too. Not thinking much lately. Yes, I. Eh, it's all part of health too. So it it's is. good good to be sleeping good and I'm not sleeping good. I gotta get Stacy going. She's slapping my hand here, meaning no, she has to get going. No. I just I feel I feel bad. Well uh, it's nine thirty, right? I don't know what time it is. Oh I guess so. Yeah, nine thirty. Nine thirty. Yeah. So she's gotta head out and get to Costco. Yes. And help everybody get their PS five. No PS5, but we got the Nintendo Switch. Not a Nintendo game. Been selling a ton of the uh, the AirPods uh, for AirPods for, AirPods for um, Apple and Apple Apple Watches are going like crazy. Hmm. So. It's not been, an Apple Watch fan. I love my Fitbit. I love my Apple Watch. Hmm. Although mine is nice because I have all the timers. Um, I have timers set for throughout the day for different things that we do. Timers and, too. I know, my phone but has then timers. I just like my Apple Watch. She likes her Apple Watch. She's all fancy like that. I'm all fancy, fancy, fancy. All I want to do is see my steps, <laughs> the time and the steps. Yeah. And that's what Fitbit does for me, and it works. And I get to be in my little challenges for my friends. <laughs> all my friends, when they come out to play and we go for step challenges, <laughs> I get to join and I get to play too. <laughs> They come up to the door and they knock and they virtual knock and they say, hey, you want to come play? And I'm like, okay. And then I still lose. <laughs> I lose every time. But I still join. Oh, that's okay. You're still playing. You're still being social without some being of, Some of the social. people. Yeah, no. Some of the people on my Fitbit challenge I haven't seen in 20, 30 years from high school and stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Jump in there. And, and Stacy used to join us. Now she can't. She's not Fitbit in with us. Oh, well. I'm joining you in the spirit. There you go. All right, guys. Thank you again. And uh, I'm hoping for better news next week. Yes. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas and have a wonderful holiday. Yes. Bye. Bye.